Blaze is with you. He says reciprocity's got this. You know, I got a lot of friends in the Gears of War community, of course. Blaze, another OG member of the Gears of War community. So uh, if he's on my side, I'm feeling good about that coming into this matchup right now as we have reciprocity versus Rise Nation. Map 3 is underway on impact. And look, just from, this, this, from what I can see right now, it looks like Rise Nation is going to have numbers. Icy's looking to kind of equalize that. Gets two kills in middle. Icy's on a tear and unfortunately will get shut down. Shock, of course. None other than Shock who tore it up in that second game. This is going to be the guy to take him out. But this is a big round. This is for it. All the marbles, $400. Let's see who will be able to take it in the end. Both teams relatively even. Rise Nation with the lead. And we're seeing Rushy's hiding over towards that hospital area, waiting for the members of Rise Nation. Looking like Rise just kind of waiting towards pushing down. I think Rushy's sleepy. Just being a little intimidating right now. Sleepy picks up the first kill. Second one going to be probably picked up on a Vexies as he is going to be taken down in the process. And now you see Reciprocity pushing out towards the seal. They're looking to finish this round off right here, right now. And we'll see if they'll be able to do so. Reciprocity in a great position, but fighting back is, in fact, going to be Rise picking up two players, Rushies as well as Franchise. To get that man advantage and to get the home split. So home bait or home hills locked down. Rise Nation fighting back. Yeah, we see the kills starting to come in from both sides. Rise Nation taking back numbers, but they are on Reciprocity's side. So finally they're trying to get out with a trade if possible. Franchise says not going to happen. And Rushy goes for the decap on A, and we are back to the fight for B. As both teams have their home hill, and you see Rise Nation attempting to take back that neutral hill franchise, though right in the midst. Players shooting him from all over the place. Gets taken out. Vexy narrowly escapes, but he has players in front of him. Has to make the best of the situation. Unreal. Gets the back A on the Sleepy. <laughs> Powers awesome picks up Icy, and numbers are back in favor of Rise. This has been such a back and forth round so far. Kill after kill, trade after trade, but it is now a 4v2 in favor of Rise Nation. They have the B Hill to their favor. They have the time lead, and we are heading towards the end of our first round, and it is looking like all Rise as even the A Hill gets decapped and the trip cap gets threatened. Yeah, definitely so. Will it be enough? And no, just broke in the last second. Rise Nation thought they had it in the bag, but I think they still do. That's going to be enough, and they are now about to break 200 points. But that was a long first round, and I got to say, both teams seem to be going at it left and right. Rise Nation, though, that's going to be a solid start, much better than the last start we saw uh, over there on the slab where we saw Reciprocity win that first game, or first round, rather, 34 seconds in. But this could be a turning point. Rise Nation, they could end up ahead. Now it's going to be up to Reciprocity to see if they want to change the map around at all or if they want to continue the same kind of initial. I personally have always been a fan of that boom shot over at the tail on the map. Always thought that was kind of a fun fight. Are we going to get it? Uh, no, we're not. I see just simply not agreeing with me. Going to X out the sides instead. Mm. I actually like that pick as well because if you feel like uh, you don't have a player with the secondaries who are as strong. Those secondaries can make that initial on impact a living hell. It can make it so difficult when you have those powerful weapons shooting down on you from those windows. So I actually will, I, I will, I will accept the X's instead of the boom tail because I love the boom tail, but I will also accept the X's because those can make that initial something crazy. I also wanted to see a weapon though. I wanted to see some chaotic action going down because I always love seeing that fight over there. Uh, whenever the the boom shot is added onto the map, it always makes everything fun. But you know, I, I, I have a feeling that you might see it. Well, I, I'm sure I will. 2019, sure I will. 2019 escalation is full of rocket launchers. <laughs> There's one thing that we've learned towards the second half of this game's life cycle. But hopping on board with franchise right now, as his team has taken out three members of Rise Nation, their eyes are set on the fourth right now. Not doing the best job playing this wide, though. I will say, is Fran just jumps right into detox and they trade. Don't really agree with how they played that, but now Rushy is going to be stuck with two players in front of him. Going to ha likely have enough time to get out alive, assuming he keeps running. He's going to stop at tables. Now he has some Lancer fire on his side from Icy, who's sitting over towards that T area. Yeah, I'm taking their time, but Vaxxus, uh, you know, he wants to get into the action. He wants to push Shock as well. This could be a two-man push that could be deadly. 
if they decide to do it on Icy, but yeah, they got Rushies also over there as well. So for the meantime, wasting a lot of time, but Reciprocity, they don't mind, right? So much because they are just locking it down and they continue to make the lead. Finally, a push is going to engage. Vexus is in fact going to be backing up quite a bit and for good reason, right? For the back eight comes in, takes out Rushies. Vexy's killing even his own teammates in the process right now as we have three members dead for Rise Nation. Reciprocity looking to take control of this neutral hill. Vexy's though making it difficult for him, unfortunately misrolls before taking one out. And now Reciprocity's gonna retake control of that B hill. They have the time lead. It's gonna be up to them to hold it. Well, it's gonna tell the tell, let's see what's gonna happen. Currently man advantage, nobody's still 4-4. Powers will be pushing through. We'll find a player just up ahead. And I gotta say, these rounds have been considerably longer than what we are used to seeing. And I gotta say, is that just a testament to what impact is? Uh, yeah, I mean, the home hills are kind of far away, so it's not necessarily the easiest map to, to trip cap sometimes with the hills moving. Um, just depending on how the fights go out. I mean, like I said, it's kind of a, a long run, and, and you can kind of get there fairly quickly on some of the spawns. But uh, I think it's more so than, than the map. I think it's just about how these teams are playing, how they're kind of trading kills back and forth, and how they're basically just kind of elongating rounds by making plays, by shooting together. Um, and like I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely compared to the last map. These rounds have dragged out much longer. Yeah, much longer indeed. Rise Nation 2 to 0. And finally, I think we're going to see a weapon kind of threatening Bar. Will he, in fact, be placing that up top? Not a bad boom, choice. Boom, tail. Boom, <laughs> tail. Boom, <laughs> tail. Boom, <laughs> tail. I'm not getting my wish. Embar's going somewhere. It's like it's like he... Ah, oh yeah, there it goes. All right. Embar down. No boom yet. But it's coming. Second half. I guarantee you it's going to be there. They're going to want to mix things up, and they're going to they're going to place it down, and you're going to have your boom tail. Did I cast or curse the weapon placement I want? That would be rather unfortunate. Unless they're li hey, may they might be listening. And they're just saying we're absolutely not going to give Ryan what he wants. You know, it's possible. Crazier things have happened. But now that the M-Bar is on this side of the map, it's going to make things a little more crazy because that M-Bar, as we've seen so far, is a very, very powerful tool in the hands of some of these pro players. So I expect to see more resources being thrown over to this side of the map. Vex, he's once again with the first blood. He's had, I don't even know how many this series. Icy doing his best to answer back. Does answer one kill to Detox before getting taken out by Shock. Three members go down for Reciprocity. Rushies taken down to super, super low health as Shock picks up that M bar. Now it's all up to Rushies and Sleepy to try and weather the storm as Rezik spawns up. Ooh, M bar out just missing the head off one of the players. Shock, unfortunately, unable to connect. But no worries, Rise Nation still with the BC. Looking very good at this point in time. I gotta say, Rise Nation, they win this next one. They're gonna be looking pretty solid. It's definitely my pick to, to win this whole shebang. But they're looking good so far. You see Shock trying to use that angle over on the rest of members as they oh, push towards nice. that sea hill. Not sure that the kill didn't connect on Icy, but. It almost looked like he hit the body, but. Ooh, franchise pushing up. Does get shut down by Detox in the meantime. Reciprocity getting creative. They've got AB. Yeah, looking to secure that two cab. Meanwhile, Rise Nation doesn't have any hills, so good opportunity for Reciprocity to kind of gain the time lead with that two cap. But man, Rise just is not letting them breathe. Kill after kill coming in. Three members go down for Reciprocity. All that's left is Franchise and Icy. Just like that, Recipro or sorry, Rise Nation quickly picks up that B hill and looks like they might be on their way over towards the Reciprocity home hill. Put that pressure on. Don't let Reciprocity breathe. I see. He'll go ahead and get dropped. Looked. Yep, he's finally going to be finished off the long with Sleepy. And A is now going to be in full effect. Rise Nation just about to get the three cap. Not able to get it just yet, but the now good they thing will. is they are wasting enough time. And you have five down. And that is going to be another trip cap. Rise Nation win their third round in a row. Rise Nation is starting off hot. Map that they've seen some success on in the past. I did see them play it a couple times. Um, at the Boston event as well. So definitely a map I know they're comfortable on. Now if you're Reciprocity, do it. 
do it. <laughs> boom tail. Yeah. Yes, I get my boom tail. I love this fight. Now, what's going to be real interesting is that we have an M bar on the other side of the cockpit, too. So whoever wins that 1v1 is, or I, I assume a 1v1, is going to have that M bar to shoot across that fight as well. So that's going to make things super, super interesting. Let's kind of look at the overhead map and see where our teams decide looks to send like the resources. Two. And it looks like, yep, the 1v1 will go over for that M bar. And you're going to see four members of each team heading towards that boom shot. Let's see what Icy can do. Gets stunned in the beginning. Sees players on his left. Like two players from mid, one up for the M bar, and then two down for the boom. Great job holding a shot there, getting that kill. You can see three members converging on to that boom. Drix, though, gonna pick up that M bar. That could spell some trouble for reciprocity across the map. Oof. But he gets taken out by Franchise. It looks like the, the 1v1 didn't even actually develop. I think Drix just picked the weapon up and ran. <laughs> so definitely, not, that's gonna be a tough one. But on the flip side of the map, you can see Rise Nation is going to look to pick that. Boom shot up, and he's just making franchise waste M bar shots in the process. So that's definitely a net positive for your Rise Nation. Right now you come out with boom and a few more of those M bar shots being wasted. Kind of an ill advised boom, if you ask me, but he's going to probably pick the second one up, and he does just that. So now we're at no more boom shots left in the map. A couple more M bars in Reciprocity's hands, and the round will start to develop. You can see the battle going on for the B Hill. Players going down on both sides. Rezik is dead. Franchise luckily gets revived, and Icy picks up a big double kill on Avexis and Detox. Might even be looking for a third, and does get a third. Wow. Icy is on a tear right now, heading over towards that A Hill. Power is taken out as well. Last alive is Shock, and assuming he goes down. That is going to be a likely trip cap for Reciprocity, and it will be just that. Avexis will not have enough time to get a touch. And that's a big round for Reciprocity, right? They needed this. They needed to definitely get something on the board. Being down 4-0 hurts quite a bit. But now, finally, they have the confidence, hopefully, to push through. That boom tail, like you said, finally on there, and it seemed to work out for Reciprocity quite well. Definitely is. Let's now see if they choose. This is one of the most common placements for sure is going to be those nades in middle, especially when you have that boom at tail. Let's see if they choose to do that or if they choose to throw a precision weapon, they're going to throw incense over at that spot. So that can make something interesting too. Now you got to think about do you throw a player over towards prioritizing incense or do you still just put everything you got over towards that boom? something to think about, right? We get kind of a two for one up top on cockpit but versus the boom tail. It still seems as if we will, in fact, have the split of one going for the M bar. Of course, the rest going over for the boom tail. Bit of a miss on the smoke, it appears. I see. He had a great start last time. He looked as if he just wanted to kind of just go for it. But actually, who is that in the middle? Is that Detox again just trying to go and grab it? Or? Yeah, and so you saw that the initial kills coming in. Icy staying alive. On the flip side of the map, Franchise wins the 1v1 against Drix, picks that M bar up and puts it to work, taking out Shock. You're going to see kills being traded on both sides. Four members do go down for Rise Nation. Rushy is going to pick up Boom. Detox last alive can do absolutely nothing against Icy there. Four members down. Now they are off spawn. Drix is going to be first, followed by Powers, and the other three are stuck on the respawn screen. Reciprocity has that boom shot. The hill is entirely capped, so they don't even need to stand in the hill. They just need to stand around it and protect Ooh. it, and they're doing just that. Incense on one side of it. Boom on the other. Shock. Oh, makes the cheeky play to take out the boom, but did not matter. He did not get in the hill in time, and a second round is on the board for Reciprocity. Awesome stuff. Five rounds have surpassed, and we're basically all even here. Going into round six before the reset on the half. And reciprocity coming back with a vengeance. That boom tail, ever since that was placed, that had all the difference in the world. The M bar fight, of course, like you've been highlighting, has, has been a massive part in it as well. Franchise has been tearing it up, winning that engagement just about every single time and going big. But I see again on your screen, we've kind of been following him through. Let's see what he'll be up to. Yeah. See what Icy can do this time. It's been kind of a back and forth initial since that boom has been placed at tail. Kind of surveying over. The incense are going to be in Reciprocity's hands right now, so you can see him start to maybe back off a little bit because they do have some extra resources over there. Rezik put those incense to work. It's not going to end up helping Icy, though, as Detox takes him out at that big door. And now Franchise being taken out as well. So Drick's going to have the M bar now. And Powers is going to pick up Boom Shot. So while it's three versus three, Rise Nation is in control of all of the power weapons in the map right now as Drix gets the initial hit with the M bar. Detox can go ahead and pick up Sleepy. 
going to try and push in and try to get a couple more of these eliminations. Oh, yeah. Detox still 14 seconds in before he's able to respawn. Another player dropping as well. That's two down now on both sides. So not every, you know, really not going to be able to push too crazy enough. But Rise Nation is going to take advantage of it. And they're going to lock down A. But in the meantime, the reciprocity on Bravo. And they might be trying to get that themselves. They at least managed to get it neutralized. So I'm seeing Powers headshots Icy and, and ends up killing himself in the process. I think he had a boom shot. So I'm not sure if he got some combination of a boom headshot and, and the splash damage killing him. But a very interesting trade over on that side. But Rise Nation right now holding down two of those hills. A 60 to 0 point lead. This round is looking all in their favor as the kills start to come in. Three members are dead. It looks like yeah, two Rise are coming Nation. off spawn for Reciprocity. And Rise is hopped on the hill. They're moving forward. Now all they have to do is clean up these final two kills. Rezik gets taken out in the process. Icy drop next. And Rise will close out the first half with a score of 4-2. to two. Awesome job from Rise Nation. 4-2 to bring it ever closer to potentially winning this entire thing. Now we're going into the map reset. And it definitely favored... Uh, Rise Nation off the initial start, especially with no weapons, we're down. Of course, we're going to see, you know, that E flip over towards tail side, which could make things very interesting, especially if the boom is placed down there once again. I'm pretty excited to see how this breakout's going to be. If I had to guess, it's going to favor Rise Nation, but reciprocity's been heating up. Yeah, definitely have. Like I said, the map has now been wiped. Respawn timers back down. Hills are flipped, and we have a fresh initial Still going to see a lot of the same fights as you saw in the beginning. But now the neutral hill has been moved across. You're going to see that 1v1 be very, very important. Sleepy Time picks up the kill onto Drix. Rezik follows it up with the Vexies. And here comes Reciprocity. Trying to get those eliminations. You notice IC will take out Detox. Powers on IC to get the trade. Powers eventually Powers. will get dropped himself, but still I believe the man advantage is, in fact, going to be on the Rise Nation side, 3-2. to two. This could give them an opportunity to at least capture E. Maybe D if they want to kind of be crazy with it and push all the way over. But unfortunately, they're not going to be able to capitalize so much as they wanted to. Respawn time still very low. And much like the first round that we saw pushing into this, uh, into this map, Seems like it's going to be a long one. Both teams very equal. Yeah, definitely so. You're seeing the trip gap starting to come in for Rise Nation right now, despite so many members of Reciprocity being alive. Are they going to make it in time? Yes, they do. They make it both over to E and D. IC gets down, I think, in the process. But once again, Rise is threatening that trip cap. Three members of Ry Reciprocity, I'm sorry, are down. One off spawn, but it's up to Rezik and Sleepy to kind of hold it down. And they, Rise Nation still has the time lead right now, holding down both E and F. These are short spawns right now, Taylor. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. teams are going to very quickly, you know, once they get an advantage, that, you know, if sure. you go down a few men early, they're going to quickly spawn up and, and be kind of right back in the fight. So, unless you get a very, very decisive wipe, chances are the teammates are going to be spawning back up and ready for battle. Right, and, and that just goes to show you, I mean, if this was later on in uh, the rounds, Rise Nation definitely would have had a huge advantage. They would have been able to get a double cap. Looks like the home hills are going to be captured for reciprocity. Oh, shock, making a fantastic play. Getting two kills and helping down that third player. Franchise looking to try and even up any way he can. Gets Shock. They're going to be taken down. Four members do go down for Reciprocity. You can see the D-Hill starting to be capped. The fifth and final member has been spotted. Trip cap starting to come in, but again, these are short spawns. So members of Reciprocity are already up. Do they get a touch? Ooh. Yes, they end up. Get, they need the full decap though. They do get it. So Reciprocity lives to see another day right now as they retake their home hill. But they are down almost 40 seconds. And they're down two hills. Yeah, Rise still being a nuisance, to say the least, to Reciprocity. For a little bit of time, it seemed Reciprocity with the two hills where we're going to be able to, you know, maybe lock it down. They had the home hills, but it just seems like it's just getting away from them at this point. Rise Nation off the half is looking like they are coming through big 190 to 142. Okay, Reciprocity getting a little bit of something going. They are able to at least neutralize E. But I think at this point in time, Rise Nation's going to take off with it. There's unless, I mean, Rise Frosty can get over the D, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, it's a tough task. I mean, you have to basically do so many things. Get, get all the D caps in there, hold the storm off, get a couple caps of your own. Just a very, very tough task. And man, Rise is looking very, very strong on our tiebreaker map as they take a 5-2 to two lead. Your pick, Taylor, is looking pretty good. Hey, man. I just started casting uh, Gears 2, and I'm already predicting the winner. Crazy. Even though I said Reciprocity would, would probably win this tournament. But.
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll omit that. <laughs> and oh yes, I get I get my I'm gonna call it boom tail, so even those drop shot so tail. I get the power up and fight at the tail. That's what I like. I like that fight. I like how and, it. And this is gonna be even more exciting than last one, given the fact that there's a hill down there, right? So it's even more incentive to send your team over there and win that initial fight. Yeah, I mean that makes it that much easier to trip cap in some situations too, right? If you get the five wipe in that same area, you get the drop shot, you get the neutral hill at the same time. It's gonna make your life so much easier. We're hopping on board with icy right now. He's had a good showing so far in these kind of fights. Let's see how he kind of navigates. He initially sees a couple players towards that weapon. Rezik going to pick up the first kill on the shock. Ooh, nice. Icy once again opening up with a kill. And three members go down for Rise Nation. Oh, this is a great start for Make Reciprocity. That four, five dead. Wow. Yeah, Reciprocity coming out with an exclamation point, obviously showing that Boomtel over at E seemed to be the way to go. Obviously, they're not going to be able to win off of this. Rise Nation could come back, but Reciprocity wins the initial, and they look solid. I mean, they, with that drop shot, it, it makes that trip cap, you know, kind of possible. You can see Rezik getting the first kill onto a Vex. He's over at that home hill. When that, that, that hill starts dinging, that's when Rise Nation knows they have to get urgent. Four kills coming in. Shock's last one. And look at Reciprocity okay. doing a fantastic I was job. Wrong. Yeah, no, Reciprocity did a great job because they had that drop shot of advancing themselves being aggressive and then forcing Rise Nation to, to take that fight over at the home mill. And then, of course, with drop shot in their hand, that gives them a ton of advantage. Yeah, awesome time or awesome job from Reciprocity coming out big to at least bring it 5-3. Hey, they're not out yet. We already seen one. Did We, we saw one game of 13, right? That, that was the first game. Yeah, we went round 13. And then round 13, yeah. Yep. And then... And then, uh, and then well, game number two, it is what it is. Slab just kind of got out of hand. But when it comes here to impact, I mean, around 13, very possible. Uh, but Rise Nation, this is going to be a crucial round, a critical round that they need to take. Let's see if they'll be able to do so. Let's see how this boom is going to play out. I'm hopping on board with Powers right now. Gonna go ahead and match Icy. Go ahead and throw that smoke. It's these players can do. He has his eyes on Rushes. He knows Rushes is not looking at him. He runs over and sidelines him and gets the kill. Two members go down quickly for reciprocity. Icy taken out as well, along with Sleepy oh, Franchise. What a start! And five go down before you know it for reciprocity. And Rise Nation is off to the races. They're going to be pushing all over that home hill. And this should very, very likely be a trip cap. They have all the numbers in the world. Five teams mates alive. And that drop shot. And they are on map point and they are on tournament point as we have a 6-3 lead for rise nation 6-3 rise at the cusp of winning the first ever emergence days invitational this is their opportunity to go big reciprocity though comeback time well we'll have to see let us know chat let us know ryan what are you thinking comeback time or what I mean, I'm always down for comeback season, so. There you go. Let's see it. Boomtail. That's been really the story ever since it was placed over at E. Rise Nation. Let's yeah. See if they can pull it off. That tail fight always always makes for, for exciting matchups. I love seeing the players, uh, you know, kind of rotating in the middle of that fight, going to help each other, going to make a play for themselves. Just um, a, a lot of a lot of quick decision making. That's what makes it fun for me to watch. And now we have that snipe placed over at the 1v1 for Franchise and Drix to fight over who comes out on top. Two very, very good snipers in their own regards, too. So whoever picks that up should likely do some definite damage with it. See how this initial still play out. It worked well for Rise last time. Icy, though, is kind of changing that a little bit, taking out powers. But you see the answer from Rise and four go down on Reciprocity. Icy last up. He's going to get dropped himself. And that should be it. Rise Nation should be able to get this triple cap and win the first ever Emergence Days Invitational Week 1 and secure $400. And there it is. Cap right now, I don't think Reciprocity can even get there. They know it. And Rise Nation, like you said, are our first ever Emergence Day champions. Big congratulations to them taking home that first prize of $400.